Museum objects can tell fascinating stories. In the collection of headgear of the Bavarian National Museum in Munich, which comprises about 1200 pieces, this berry is very special. My name is Johannes Pietsch. I'm the curator of textiles and dress at the Bayerisches Nationalmuseum in Munich. This object belonged to the herald of the Kingdom of Bavaria. It was worn on the accession day of King Ludwig II in March 1864. The berry with its gathered crown and upturned brim is made of silk velvet. It is decorated with silver embroidery and three large ostrich feathers. Originally, the color of the velvet was light blue. It has since faded to a greenish hue. White or silver and blue are the colors of the coat of arms of Bavaria. A 19th century illustration shows the Royal Bavarian Herald on the left in all his glory, which reminds us of medieval or Renaissance attire. King Ludwig II loved the Middle Ages. In German, he is known as the Märchenkönig, the fairy tale king, in English as the Swan King. He had several castles built in the manner of historicism, the most famous one being Neuschwanstein. When he acceded to the throne as an 18 year old in 1864, obviously his love for somewhat theatrical historicizing outfits was already there. Looking at this grand berry, we can imagine what a magnificent event Ludwig's accession to the throne must have been. And more than one and a half centuries later, this piece of headgear can still tell us about the splendor at the Bavarian court in the time of Ludwig II, as well as the king's exquisite taste and admiration of the past. The Bayerisches Nationalmuseum in Munich houses one of the major textile and dress collections in the world with approximately 40,000 pieces. We're looking forward to your visit to our beautiful museum.